This is the goblet squat. It is the first in the series of squats that I teach to people when they come to my facility. So the way you do it, you grip the kettlebell with the heel of your hand, just like this. See, I can hang on to the kettlebell even without closing my fingers. Index fingers point up, three fingers underneath, thumbs on top, heels are under armpits, toes are pointed forward. You take a deep breath in, hold it, down, up, hips through, and exhale. So some common mistakes people make is that when they do this, they exhale on the way down. Very common. Then what will happen is you'll fall forward. Your body needs that deep breath to push off of and to stop you from collapsing. Uh, the other common error I see is valgus collapse, which I've mentioned more than a few times now. So if you find you have valgus collapse in your squat, grab yourself a mini band. Doesn't work all the time, but a lot of times it does. Most commonly, this is how I fix it. So, as you go down, make, don't let that mini band pull your knees together. If you want more quad activation, you need the knees to go further forward. So, get your, this is a 25 pound bumper plate. You can start off with a 10 pound if you want. It'd be a little bit easier. And again, deep breath in, elbows to knees, and then up. And you'll see that I'm getting a lot lower now than I was before. And that's gonna stress the quads more. Once you know the goblet squat, you can have fun with it. You can do a, a single arm rack squat press. You can do goblet squat press. You know, goblet squat curl the press. Have fun with it.